the power of sin. The penalty of sin has sin has a consequence. Sin, sin ends in death. So when Jesus died for your sin, praise God, and he got rid of the penalty of sin. Somebody say yes to the Lord Jesus. Praise God for Jesus. And you only want to have you have confidence. I want to say to all the saints, praise God and amen. Keep your confidence in Jesus Christ. And don't make no provision from your flesh. Is anybody here? Praise God. Don't play with the devil. The off the devil is turned. I know people nowadays say, I don't, I don't want to hear about this, no fine brimstone stuff. Praise God. But let me tell you something now. Amen. The, the church, church folks also. You won't run the folks away from the church talking about these fine brimstone. But we need to let people hear the full gospel. If you live, if you're not living, if you're living in sin, you're taking a chance. Your, your soul is in jeopardy. Every day, every hour that you live in sin, you gambling with your soul. Is that right? As I said, Jesus didn't come only praise God. Amen. Praise God to deliver us from our sin. Jesus came, praise God, to give us his righteousness. To keep us out of sin. Do you know when you want to listen? You don't want to just get a person out. You don't want to go get folks out of jail. Praise God and and uh, and, uh, and not uh, reprogram the folks. Folks get put out of jail. You don't want to get people out. You know why people go right back to jail? They didn't get replayed. They, they have nothing to reprogram. So you know what happened when they when they, they they get out of jail? If they don't get reprogrammed, they gonna get right back in jail. But when Jesus brings people out of sin, He gives you His righteousness. So you don't have to go back in the stuff you was in before. Somebody say yes to the Lord Jesus. Come on, he gave me his righteousness. He died for my sin, yeah, but he was raised from the grave for my justification. And he said, I'm justified. justified. Just as if I had never known sin. Because Jesus' righteousness had never known sin. He switched places with me. Somebody help me say, he switched places with me. Look at that! 
on this. Let me tell you how to sleep at night. Let me tell you how to sleep at night. Come on, this now. Now, I'm in Philippians 4, amen, and 5. Now, the next Bible, come on, read with me. Yes. People need the scriptures. We need you. Everybody need the Bible. <clears throat> Don't put no confidence in nothing but the Bible. Uh, come on, stand up back, stand up back up with me, because I'm about to stop, I'm to stop. I want you to know that Jesus delivered you and me from the penalty of sin first. You know what the penalty of sin was? He died in my stead. And then he delivered me from the power of sin. You know what the power of sin is? I don't have to go back in no sin. You know why? He gave those brothers the Holy Ghost. And he said, you shall receive power now when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you'll be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and Judea and in the uttermost parts of the earth. You can stand for Jesus everywhere you go. Folks need the Holy Ghost. I'm in, I'm in Philippians. I'm in Philippians. What did I say? Four and what? Five. Did that pass the scripture say, let your moderation? Come on, here and say, let your moderation. I told him, man, when I hold on to the money, I, I, knew, I knew he had my money. 